Hi there, it's Curtis Pike, and I'm going to be doing the Adobe Premiere Pro uh, tutorial today on the bevel edges effect. Now, when you look at Adobe Premiere Pro here, uh, you're going to notice that I have the effects uh, little window open, and when you go there, you'll hit the little triangle, drop down, and bevel edges is the first of the presets available. So let's take a look at this one first. Uh, there are two different bevel edges effects. There's thick and thin. Uh, they do pretty much the same thing. They just have a little bit of a different um, starting uh, variables. But let's drop in the thick. Now you notice I, I'm using a Mac here, but I click on it, I drag it, and I drop it. That's how I put in the various effects. Now the default effect has a nice thick picture frame effect it looks like. Uh, up here you're going to see that I have the effect controls. I Pardon me, I haven't clicked on the um, the video. Now here in under effect controls, pardon me, is where you can adjust all of the different ratios. So if you want no thickness, there'd be no real point, but if you want to know thickness, go right ahead. If you want a 0.10, I'm just sliding it off to the right, 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.5, all the way up to 0.5, which is basically, well, strange looking. But anyways, let's go back in. Let's say we like 0.10. That looks all right. If you want to change it to something specific, you can just click on it and then enter in the value. Also, you can just slide it. Uh, you just hold the left mouse button down and slide left or right, and you can adjust the, ver uh, the values. And let's see here. Now, the second thing that we can change is the light angle. The default angle is minus 45, but if you want the light going in the other way, let's make it plus 45. And as you, you'll see that as I twirl this around, you get a totally different effect based on the angle of the light. So let's just go back to 0.45. The other thing you'll notice here is we can up the intensity. So if we want no intensity versus pure 1.0 intensity which is pretty much as bright as it gets and as dark as it gets. Now let's go with a nice 0.3 and the final thing that you can change here is the light color. Now you know bright white is usually pretty good but if you want a nice smoky color for example let's go with that one. You know I've got a nice unblended color here. Um, looks kinda cool but you know normally you'd want to go with um, with a bright white but here if you take a look at a dark red color this has a very you know strange look to it and it's really kind of useful if you're doing like scary movies for example let me show you how that would work uh, you could start off with basically nothing or right, let's go with yeah let's go with like a 0.5 here uh, let's get the intensity the edge thickness so when it starts the movie here for example, I'm going to go with an edge thickness of zero, so there's nothing. Now I'm going to click this animation, this stop timer, and this is a little bit advanced for some of you, I apologize. And then I'm going to go to, say, halfway through, and then I'm going to set the intensity to maximum. Now watch this. I'm going to just drop that down so you can see it. You see what we got going on here? nice scary looking red effect that takes a nice summer <laughs> day out feeding the ducks all the way through to you know some sort of weird red special effect so anyways guys that's the bevel uh, edges thick and that also works the same for bevel edges thin it just starts off with a different intensity uh, but anyways guys that's it for this one stay tuned for a lot more tutorials coming up